Hello everyone, welcome to another Fallout 76 walkthrough and the Fastnacht event is finally up and live and I'm going to show you some tips on how to do it from start to the very end. Hello again everyone and as you probably know the Fashna event is now going on and it's going to last one entire week so you can get all the masks you want. So let the grind begin. <laughs> anyway, I decided to do this to give you a few tips on how to do this event from start to end and the first thing you need to know is where to go. So we need to go to the Elvetia town and that's where the event takes place. Now, it won't always be up. You will probably have to server jump quite a few times until you find one, but that's completely natural. So once you find an event, you need to reach the very center of the town. And it might be quite laggy because normally there's a lot of players, if not the entire server there. So be patient, everything will load eventually, and when it does, you should talk to this robot here, who's the master of ceremonies, and that's how you can start the event, or progress in this case. And he will talk a little bit, and after that you'll receive an update which asks you and everyone else who is participating in the event to find the parade marchers. And they are basically robots with some of the masks you can get as a reward. And they are located in the major or the largest buildings in this town. They are not difficult to find. I found almost all of them in my first try. So you will see where they are except one, I think, because someone else got to him first. But nonetheless, let's get started. So, because you have to walk quite a bit uh, for this event, I suggest you to play some music right here at the start if you haven't played it at your camp yet. Then it's time to find the marchers, and when I finished my music session, someone had already found one of them, which is okay, this is a cooperation event, it's about teamwork. And one of the robots is right here, in the kitchen, actually. And by the way, these squirrels drop meat and intestines, the chickens too. And they are used for a recipe you can get from the event, which is the Far Night Sausage. So that's a great information to know for later. And here it is, the first one I found. And once you find each robot, they will ask you to perform a task for them. Which is basically collect certain items that are near them or in a building nearby. So this one, the trolley, asked for eggs. And then you have to place them there. But I was not too focused on getting eggs, I wanted to find the other guys to show you. So I went ahead to this building here, which is the hotel. I searched upstairs, I didn't see anything. Because he's downstairs. He is the butcher and he is right here. And he will actually ask you for intestines, so you might want to kill all these squirrels and chickens and keep the intestines to give it to him. And it's a quite fine event to do, actually. I, I really liked it. At least as a first impression. I can only guess that it won't be so fun if you do it 10, 20 times, you but still. 
So keep in mind that they always have a container near them for you to deposit the items they are asking. Now, one of the marchers is a musician right here and they will ask you to play while he sings. It's quite funny actually. So at least one of the missions is not about collecting items. I'm yet to see if this is always the same in every single event. I managed to do another one, but I joined in the middle, so I didn't have the chance to confirm if the missions or the submissions are random or if they are always the same. Now, as you can probably see, there is only one marcher left and no one seemed to be finding him. I went to look for him basically in every building that I wasn't uh, there yet or that I didn't see many people around it. So I decided to go to the church, for example. It's at the very end of the town. And I didn't find anything there. However, in a small house nearby, I found the last robot. He's an historian and he will request you uh, some strange objects to analyze. The good part is that they are quite easy to find. For example, there is one right on top of this counter. It's this orange kind of flask. It's called the porcelain stain and you can find it around the town pretty much. So in this building here, the red one, there are a few ones as well. This guy was picking them up with me. Well, killing balloons. Well, I can't blame him. It's kind of fun when it works and it's not bugged. All you can do is try. So here's another one. Thank you, research assistant. Analyzing object or and whenever you see enemies around, just take them down. The it rhymes. Wow. No, but seriously, there will be a uh, very little scorched because they are natural of this town. So even when you kill them, they will eventually spawn back and annoy you while you are running around and picking up items, delivering them and so on. Thank you. And that was the last of the marchers that we had to get to join the parade. The not so good news is that they are slow as hell. So you will need to wait for this last robot to join the parade, which is in the main street. And it will take a while, so you might choose to just wait with everyone else in here and with the other robots. You can socialize, you can take screenshots, make a video. Anything you want really, you can go FK for all it matters because yeah, until the last robot joins in, you won't be going anywhere. But once he gets in here, things will get better and funnier and very interesting, I would say. But everything takes a while with this event, okay? It's a parade, it's in a festive mood, and the music is just hilarious, really. So the master of ceremonies is going to lead the parade. He will lead the way, and you have to march with the 
marchers <laughs> and defend them of course at first things will be very easy let me tell you and spoil a little bit so especially right now that the event is super hyped and the entire server is coming and doing it together it's quite easy to defend in the first minutes but after a while it will get quite challenging and in case you don't know your rewards depend on the number of marchers who survive and make it to the end of the parade so make sure to defend them and to protect them otherwise if at least one of them dies your reward will not be as good as it could be and you might not even get a mask as a reward if that happens as such i advise you to stay very close to the robots and depending on how the group plays uh, for example if there are a lot of players in front then stay behind and make sure the last uh, marcher is protected because they don't all walk at the same pace sometimes you will see that one or two robots are a bit behind and they will be vulnerable so make sure to protect the weakest link in this case and in this part you shouldn't have that many issues because the enemies are very weak and at least in both events I did, the waves were not significant either. But things are about to change in the next waves. And again, it's important to adequate your playstyle to your group. Because in this part, enemies will come from every front, from every side and people need to scatter around and defend as much as possible so my best advice in here is again to focus on the side or a part that are not being covered as much by other players that's the only way you can ensure the most coverage for all the robots and now instead of frogs and wolves, you will get super mutants and suicidal ones. They have bombs and they will explode on your marchers. So make sure to shoot them from afar or get close to them and take them down before they get close and explode into your robots they do a lot of damage as you could see one of them managed to get to these two guys in front and half hp is gone just one single guy did all this damage so make sure they explode far from the robots also they come from every side as i told you beforehand and as you can see i am covering this part where there's hardly anyone and i am keeping watch because i know there's people on the other sides especially in front and to the other side the exact opposite side of where i am right now and they are doing a very good job at keeping them afar. I could barely hit them actually, so that means the group is doing a very good job. Another tip I could give you is bring strong fire weapons because melee weapons here are not that great. I mean, the goal is to keep them from getting close and explode, and that's very difficult to do against enemies that simply rush. They don't attack you, they just go past you, and their goal is to explode on your robots. So if you have a little bit of lag or if you are out of stamina, you might just lose the robot there because of that. 
but if you have a fire weapon you can simply shoot them for afar and that won't happen unless your aim is extremely potato but that's why you always bring a lot of ammo right so you can keep shooting and shooting and eventually you will hit something in that case And the event is almost over. My jolly guy got stuck there. He didn't want to come. He he gave up right there. But the good part is that the event went forward. And we didn't lose the rewards because he was there. Just being there. And the last waves are again very weak. They are mostly bugs and wolves. And they hardly do any damage. So that's a great thing. For us, at least. The candle maker doesn't want to cooperate. And that's okay. I close the door to ensure no buggy wolves like this one will come by. And if this happens, by the way, make sure to stick with the damn robot, just in case. I mean, the event completed and nothing happened to him, but you never know. If more enemies came and all of them attacked him at once, he would probably die. And that's it. The event is done and I received two awesome awards, the Fashnak Beret and the Fashnak Giant Mask, which is basically a super mutant or a troll face. It's quite ugly and scary, yet funny at the same time, I'm not sure, <laughs> but it's a very good one and as my first reward I am quite pleased, I must say. And this guy was doing it closely to me. He also got the same mask. Funny enough. Anyway, I want to share just a few more things with you. And on my second event, I got super bugged. First, I got stuck in an emote. I couldn't move. I had to relog. Luckily, I had a friend in the server so I could join him back. And then... Uh, at the very end of the event everyone was hitting something and I couldn't see it that's quite interesting hopefully I will find out what it was in the next event I do and well after the event is done everyone becomes so social and funny I guess it's the spirit of the event and the power of roleplay just maybe so I will leave you with some funny moments I experienced today. I hope you enjoy. I am Marta Branku. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the uh, walkthrough, don't forget to subscribe for more. And I will see you in the next video. <laughs> Stop rubbing your ass against my power armor. I just <laughs> polished it. You know you like it. I don't want your smegma on it. <laughs> Oh my god, look at that, that's a main to man over there. <laughs> He's the Chinese knockoff aqua man. That's a good boy, that's a good dirty boy. Mm, that's right. Hey, no peeking <laughs> unless you want to join in. Mm. Oh yeah.